morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're tuning into this video. <laughs> so I want to try to do something new. I'm going to be doing daily videos, videos every two to three days by the light of the moon. So as the moon changes signs, that's when I do a new video or weekly videos. We'll just see. And then mixing in, I do um, shorts, uh, daily shorts um, of astrology. So trying different things um, to see what will work and how it'll be. So, um, I am going to be creative when I am uh, making these videos, um, kind of coming up with things as it comes, and maybe creating new things as I'm talking, and also basing it off of um, learned information, um, just to make these videos as creative and uh, varied and with as much detailed um, and interesting information as possible. And I might draw different references from books or movies or TV shows or just from life. So I just want to clear that up front. So today we have a new moon. A new moon in Gemini. And so, during this new moon, the sun and moon are in the same sign. And new moons are quiet times. You know, where the energy is very, very calm. Which really encourages us to go inward. To come into the reflection time of looking inside ourselves and starting new things, initiating new things quietly, peacefully. And this means that we can do so in a very grounded way where it's not like full moons when the energy is really, really big and like, oh, let's go out and let's have a party and I'm so enthusiastic and I'm so energetic. No. So, that's what new moons are about. And so, the sun and moon are uh, conjunct in the same sign in Gemini. And they conjunct when the sun passes through certain degrees of the sign, and the moon passes through certain degrees, and then they meet up at the same degree and at the time that they do that, and at the exact degree and the exact minute that they do, then they are conjunct. And Gemini has to do with um, our thoughts, you know, rules over our thoughts. Um, how quickly are we thinking? How positively um, are we thinking? Um, are we thinking very optimistically? Are we open to new possibilities? Are we um, willing to go for it and um, commit in our minds? So basically, the mental message that we're sort of uh, ingrained with in our heads, and whether that be a positive message or a negative message. Positive self-thinking, um, you know, um, or PMA, as they say, PMA, uh, positive mental attitude. You know, for instance, um, you know, this is where those references come in. I was watching, um, it was this show called um, Alone, and it was about these people who get sent to this island um, you know, where they have to survive for a variety of the days. 
and you know, for a variety of days, and under and in extreme circumstances. And so this guy was there, and he had family back at home. Uh, I believe that there was something having to do with, you know, new children being born into the family, and he had to be there. But this was his one opportunity, you know, don't quote me on it, but um, it was an opportunity, a grand opportunity, a golden opportunity for him to go on the show and prove his strength and capability and, you know, survival skills, resilient skills. And he couldn't focus on what he was doing and compartmentalizing the family situation with where he was and what he wanted to do and the steps that he would take to build up foundations for himself to survive as time would pass slowly but surely. And after a couple of days, after, and, and this, it takes a lot of money um, to be able to do this and a lot of money as a gain reward at the end of surviving, you know, based upon who the winner is. And so after a couple of days, he just couldn't do it. Uh, he couldn't focus. He was like, um, you know, and he was sad and he was devastated and frustrated, mad at himself. But uh, he just decided to leave. And that was just the stuff going on, the thoughts going on in his mind and how it was affecting his mood and emotions. So the mindset that you're thinking to yourself, uh, is really, really looked at with Gemini. And also it has to do with uh, Gemini is communication. So anything dealing with the, you know, either journaling in your journal, you know, this is what I think, this is how I feel, this is what I believe, writing stories or writing um, poems or, you know, things along those lines, um, reading information, um, you know, making videos, watching videos, anything in the communication realms and coming home with that committing your attention at something instead of flitting from one thing to another and coming into um just sitting back and relaxing and reading something writing something listening to something and possibly committing focusing the attention um, as I think I said that before, and possibly appreciating um, what is said, the language that is said, the, you know, the words that were spoken, and watching something that uplifts you, reading something that uplifts you, um, you know, takes your energy and, you know, turns up the dial and moves it up, makes you feel uplifted instead of down, you know, um, or depressed or uh, fearful. So that's, uh, so those are big things. We have Mercury retrograde in Taurus. Um, and we just had Mercury retrograde in Gemini, so Mercury retrograde in Taurus is really, really slow. Let's make decisions without jumping into them. Let's um, slow ourselves down and appreciate nature, um, food, all these things, but appreciating, you know, nature and food and essential things related to Taurus, but related to Gemini involves the communications. Now, the other thing is we had this Jupiter-Mars conjunction in Aries the other day, and that was real big energy. Um, very, very um, <clears throat> wild energy, um, very enthusiastic. Um, Aries is um, high on its energy. It's like taking a match and lighting that flame, getting that spark, that boost, 
you know, if you were to be in a car and you were to press the, you know, speed boost or the accelerator, um, it's just a, you know, boost of energy. It's like springtime when the flowers come out, when the, you know, the grass starts to turn green. Um, on the downside, it can be impulsive energy and it can be the battle. You know, I'm right, you're wrong, I'm better, you're, you know, and I'm going to fight for it till the bitter end. So choosing love and peace and fighting with passion, but also compassion um, as well in the end. Um, so that's the other thing. And then we have Mercury, the planet of your mind, and Saturn square. And square is 90 degrees, and it's the difficult aspect. So Mercury is in Taurus, it's retrograde, so we can reflect in our thinking. And Saturn is in Aquarius, and Saturn, let's get serious. What are the structures, my mental structures? What am I saying to myself? What am I thinking to myself? What are my habits, mental habits, and are they serving me, or are they holding me back. Maybe it could be excuses, so like, I can't do this, I don't know how to do this, or, you know, these patterns where we're, you know, overeating at something, maybe just physically, or maybe, you know, too much technology, or too much of this, too much of that, and moderating, you know, the things that we are doing. So, keeping the mental health um, in check, um, as well, like those people who go on a, you know, diet plan, like a mental, um, diet, um, not, you know, like, oh, you know, that restrictive energy, but just that kind, gentle, very, uh, grounded energy of knowing that this is just going to be right for me, and maybe it's something that I need right now at this time for me to feel better that's been sort of waiting and sitting there, and now I am taking its hand and walking with it through the door into something better. So that is the Daily Astrology for today. Thank you for tuning in.